Are you frustrated and constantly picking up food that your baby's thrown on the floor? It can be exhausting and awfully messy. But what if I told you there was one technique that you could implement that would put an end to this unwanted behaviour? In my 40 years of childcare experience, I have implemented this technique time and time again with great success. And it's called the dull dad method. Yeah, I know it sounds weird, especially if you're a mother, but bear with me. If you carry on watching this video, all will be explained. So what are our natural reactions and consequences to your baby throwing food on the floor? Well, first of all, you are going to pick it up and then you're going to pick it up again and then you'll probably pick it up again and very easily get caught up in that let's pick it up, pick it up time and time again game. You might even laugh and joke about it to begin with because when your baby learns a new trick, we all think it's lovely and we get caught up in the moment and so our reaction can be one of jollity and think it's fun, but then the novelty wears off and then you'll start saying things like no and stop and so the tension rises. You might even get to the point where you just say, you know what, I have had enough of this, I'm just going to take them out of the high chair, I'm going to finish the meal. By which time you've got quite stressed, baby picks up on your stress, and unfortunately you then run the risk of getting a very negative feel around meal times. That meal times are focused on the anxiety and your frustration at the fact that your baby's just playing around and throwing food on the floor. And this can develop into bad food associations later on. So what do we do instead? Instead, we implement the dull dad method. So why have I called it the dull dad method? Well, it's because, and it's not always the case, but usually the case that when baby throws food on the floor, mum's gonna get more upset than dad. Mum's gonna think about the mess. She's gonna become very anxious about the fact that their baby's not eating the right food or eating enough. Dad, on the other hand, is more likely not to react, not think too hard about the mess and react very little. And the chances are the more food will get eaten and less on the floor when dad's supervising the meal. The dull dad method focuses on not reacting to the behavior. First of all, be prepared. Put a splash mat down underneath the high chair so you're not worrying about the mess. That takes the anxiety of the mess away. It also takes the anxiety of picking up the food and putting it back on the tray or the plate, which is what we're going to do without it being contaminated. So that's the first thing you do. The next thing you do is that when your baby throws the food on the floor, you don't react. Nothing. Don't say a word. Don't do anything. Then after a short while, you look down to the floor and you go, oh, you've dropped your food on the floor. You pick it up slowly, you put it back on the tray and you say, food stays on the tray. And that's it. That's all you do. If they do it again, you repeat that. You okay, came very calm no reaction and there's always a gap. Do not pick it up straight away. It's really important that you don't do that. Now you might be tempted to do this, but don't laugh and don't turn it into a game. As soon as they get a funny reaction out of you, then they will do it again and again. So again, the big thing is take all reaction out of it. Stay neutral, stay passive, completely calm, but you're not going to think it's funny. It's not a game. It's also okay to catch them in the act. So if you see them about to throw the food on the floor, then you can gently hold them by the arm and you say, no, food stays on the tray. And you put the food back on the tray with their hand. It's absolutely fine to do that, but you say it very calmly, firm but kind, to make it very clear that this is where the food is meant to go. By repeating those phrases, your baby will start to understand that the food needs to stay on the tray. It's also a good idea to have another container on the tray for them to put the unwanted food into. Babies are also at a stage where they like to move things from one container to another. And that is fine because at least the food's not going on the floor. So you're tapping into their developmental stage and a skill that they like to practice, but we don't want the food on the floor. So I encourage them to move the food from one bowl to the other. It can be unwanted food or it can be just something that they do rather than throw it on the floor. If you do feel that it's time to finish the meal, you think your baby's had enough, they're just not interested, then finish it calmly and in a very relaxed manner. Don't feel frustrated, that's just a natural end to the meal. And you can say something like, oh well, I guess you finished then, let's clear up. And that's what you do and you move on. I would also suggest that you don't feed your baby anything else for another 90 minutes after you finish the meal, because you don't want them to get into the habit of thinking that if they throw the food on the floor and you finish the meal, 
that they're also going to get offered a tasty snack in half an hour or so. That could be a bad habit that might form. And the last two points is that I would offer smaller portions of food rather than large portions. Give your baby something just to focus on to eat. If there's more food on the plate than they actually need immediately, they're more likely to play around with it and throw it on the floor. And I'd also read the mood. If your little one is pushing the food away, throwing it on the floor consistently, rubbing their eyes and really not engaged, chances are that they are too tired to eat and it's probably just best to call it a day and move on. So there you have it, a simple, quick and dull fix to your baby throwing food on the floor, which stops you getting caught up in that pick it up again and again and again and again. There's useful resources in the description box below. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.